Well, John Ramshaw, uh, sublime and ridiculous. Uh, last week, all down in the dumps, everybody was, but uh, what a fantastic uh, response. Just the response you wanted, people putting their lives on the neck, and uh, some quality goals to boot. Absolutely, yeah. I thought it was a tremendous performance. And we, and we just said to them in there, when, when they do the job that they're given to do, they're a very good side. And I think they've proved that today. I think every one of the players in the side has gone out and done the job to the best of their ability. And we've proved what a good side we are. It was a full 90 minutes display as well, wasn't it? I mean, Paul's always said it needs to be a 100 minute team, you know, and today we proved that we can be a 90 minute team or a 100 minute team. Yeah, yeah, I thought, uh, you know, the boys kept going all the way through. Um, you know, you had, you know, Reece Sharp, who's been out for a long time, you know, back in the side today and, and got through the last 15 minutes where, you know, I just on, I think, just on sheer blood and guts alone. Um, but every, every, every one of the team today has given 100%. Uh, and it showed in the performance. Paul also said that he didn't want to say too much about the 13 days we've had off, you know, through COVID, but mm. uh, the team did look rusty, didn't it, um, in the two games? And th today it, it looked like that extra yard was there, that sharpness was, was there, and that willing, working together, you know, is, is power he finally learned to give the ball to a player, as he did today for uh, McDonough's great goal. Mm. Well, I. You know, 13 days, it was actually 16 days, Paul, altogether from uh, start from start to finish. And um, I've always said at this standard of football that if you miss a week, it takes you two weeks to get back to the standards you were setting before you had that week off. And um, and I think that's what has affected us over the over the last couple of games. But I think now we're back to firing all, all cylinders. You know, the players are playing for each other, which they have done all season. As, as we've said numerous times, there's an absolutely fantastic atmosphere in, in, in that dressing room. Um, and, and you know they've, they've worked hard for each other today you know and, and, and Callum Powell I thought was magnificent today he was a constant Definitely. thorn in Blythe's side you know his distribution of the ball the way he, some of his little combination passes around the, the box were absolutely superb and uh, and, he, and he, got, uh, he got the goal he deserved I thought Harrison Neil again put in a fantastic display, didn't he? He's, uh, when doesn't he? Well, exactly. When doesn't he? I mean, the boys, uh, Can we the boys, absolute, <laughs> the boys, absolute quality. I don't think, uh, I don't think we could afford him if the truth be known. But, uh, but you know, we've got him till Christmas at least. He's enjoying it, and, and Sheffield United are are very pleased with the work we're doing with them. So hopefully, they might be looking to extend um, because I think he's learnt an awful lot about well, men's football. Isn't about it? men's football. Yeah, he's learnt an awful lot about men's football here, but. You know, today he was he, well. He just ran the midfield today, didn't he? he just did. ran the midfield. He was, he's a superb footballer with a great future ahead of him. When you consider looking at the substitutions that the substitutes that we've got and the players are not even on the list, mm. you brought Ed Cook back from Stamford, who's been exceptional. He played well against Diamonds the other, the other night, you yeah. know. And uh, the Dakari Sheriff, the Stones, you know, and they've got Calder to come back. You yeah. know, it's a, it's an incredible. It's it's a good position to be in, I suppose, but it must be frustrating to keep everybody happy. Well, um, you know, it's not about keeping people happy, it's about picking the teams to win football matches. And I think the players are mature enough, although they're a very young side, they're mature enough to, to understand that, Paul, you know. And we have, got, we have got a really strong squad, there's no two ways about it. I think one or two may be going out on loan in the next couple of, uh, next couple of weeks just to get playing time under the belts, you know. But Isaac Stones should be back for Tuesday night or back in contention for Tuesday night. And uh, as you say, you know, there's some very good players haven't even made the haven't even made the, t the squad today. Um, so it's a nice position to be in. And um, you know, I think uh, I think I think the club is uh, uh, you know is really uh, benefiting from us having such a good young, strong squad. Difficult game on Tuesday, as they all are, I suppose, against um, Chorley, but a performance like that against them would certainly um, put a, an interesting slant on affairs, wouldn't it? It would. It's going to be a difficult, it's a difficult task. Let's not, let's not beat about the bush. It's a, it's a long trip midweek, and um, and they're a very good side. So it's going to be it's going to be a difficult evening. But you know, if we play like we did today, it's going to be a good team to beat us. Indeed. Well, John, that's. Uh, must be happy, happier, John, uh, tonight than it was uh, last week. You were fuming last week, weren't you? I because was. You've got the, you know, you could actually translate to to Paul obviously what was going on at Blythe um, mm. today, who I thought were extremely poor. To be fair, the weakest Blythe side that I've seen in in, in a long, long time. But uh, well, you know, they're on an unfortunate run. They are. Let's yeah. not beat about the bush. You know, I think that's the sixth they've lost on the bounce and. You know, I, 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 I th you know, I know the management team operate with very limited resources, but um, 
you know, it, you, you're only look. You can only beat what's put in front of you. And, and, and um, you know, I would never, I would never say that a team were poor or criticise a team because, you know, I, in my management career, I've been there myself with no money to spend, and and you know, sometimes um, you know, on the on the receiving end of a of of, of one or two uh, you know iffy results, but. Um, you know, it's a great club, lovely people. You know, us yeah, we've always, us. always enjoyed it up there. I'm sure they'll bounce back. I'm they're, sure they're they a good side. We're happy in the, in the past, yeah. you know, and uh, be a shame if they were. And they made a fist of it. They give us a game. They did. That's that's, not, that's you know, that's not that's not take it away from them. You know, they've done they've done what they, they had to do today. They have tried to do what they had to do today, and uh, and I just wish them all the best for the rest of the season because it really is a lovely club and the lovely people. You know. Okay, job. Thanks for that. Thank um, you very much. We'll see you on Tuesday. You will indeed.